Hi, I'm Grace. I have a grade 1 pilocytic astrocytoma. I was diagnosed in 2014 and today I'm going to be answering a few questions from some of my friends on Twitter for the Brain Tumor Charity. One of my favourite questions, which was actually a compliment within a question, was how do you stay so positive? I think when I was first diagnosed and I first had to go in for my operation, my instinct was to be positive. All the people around me were not so positive. In fact, you know, obviously, understandably, my family were a bit terrified. Whereas I remember my neurosurgeon telling me what he was gonna have to do and telling me about my operation and things and me just sitting there and going, awesome, cool, good, right. Because what else can you do? You have to adopt your positive attitude and crack on. That's the most I could do. I was always happy, still am, that this is happening to me. Like, if it were anyone else, I'd be so upset. I'd be just beside myself. I also think being diagnosed with something like this, having this kind of experience, gives you infinite perspective. It gives you such a different view on life and relationships and just everything. It's quite a priceless thing this perspective. You start to see all the things that were bothering you before and you kind of go, they don't seem so bad now. I personally um, look in the mirror in the morning and um, I'm quite self-conscious with the way my face looks these days because I have a dent in my head from my second operation where cerebral spinal fluid leaked and then had to be drained out. So yeah, I am very self-conscious and sometimes my outfit won't be quite right, my hair will be a mess. And then I remember what I looked like coming out of surgery and I think, I've looked worse. I wouldn't have had such a positive experience since my diagnosis if it hadn't been for the Brain Tumor Charity. These guys are so great. Everything they do is incredible. And I will continue to do the Twilight Walks. I'll continue to write little bits and bobs, do videos if need be for them. I not only owe them so much, but I just love them. I hope everyone was happy with my responses to the questions. If anyone has come up with any more, then feel free to tweet me at underscore Grace Latter. Thank you for watching.